If you build it, they will come is not an effective mission strategy for the 21st century. And I was recently reading a Barna article entitled, Do Church Buildings Still Matter? How U.S. Adults Feel About Spiritual Spaces. And in this article, they said something that was shocking, but not incredibly surprising to me. They said just three in 10 U.S. adults, three in 10 U.S. adults regularly visit spiritual or transcendent spaces. What does that mean? It means if your mission strategy is to build a great worship service and to open the doors and to watch the community come in, you're gonna be waiting a long time because only three in 10 US adults are even looking for a worship service. But there's hope. There's hope because at the end of every single worship service, the pastor stands up and he gives a blessing and the church goes out. And when the church goes out, that was Jesus' mission strategy. See, Jesus was never the one that said, if you build it, they will come. That's way more field of dreams than it is the Great Commission. No, what Jesus said in Matthew chapter 28 is go, go and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them all I've commanded you, and behold, I will be with you to the end of the age. And when Jesus said go, that word go means as you are going. See, what Jesus envisioned when he envisioned the church was not a physical building, but it was a people, a people that were able to go into the everyday spaces of life, the places that people live, work, learn, and play. And when they go out to those spaces, to actually be able to share the good news of who Jesus is and what he's done for the world right there in those places so that people can connect with Jesus right there in everyday places. And when people connect with Jesus in everyday places, disciples are made and the church is born. See, as you step into 2023, it may be a little disheartening to realize that if you build it, they will come is not gonna be an effective mission strategy, but we wanna help. We want to help you live out the mission strategy that Jesus always gave in Matthew 28. And that's why one of the things we're doing this year to help is we're releasing Mission Insights. Mission Insights are short little thoughts and practices just like this that we're going to put out every single Monday. Every single Monday, you're going to have a chance to encounter another missional practice or simple tool that you can use to go out and share the gospel and make disciples in the places you're already going. Because even though less people are coming into church in the 21st century, we believe there's still incredible opportunities for the church to go out. And we believe that Jesus is going to be right there in our going out like he said he always would. So if you'd like to find more missional practices like these and encounter some of these mission insights every single Monday, you can subscribe to the Kairos Network right there on YouTube and we'll release a new mission insight every Monday. You can follow our email list and we'll send it right to your inbox or you can check out missionarypathway.org. However you encounter these mission insights, we pray they're a blessing to you as you go out into the everyday spaces and share the good news of Jesus with the world around you. We're looking forward to joining you on this journey each Monday through Mission Insights.